Hello, hello, and welcome to episode 134 of Millennial Movie Talk. I am Christian, and we are joined, of course, by our other wonderful hosts, Michael. Hello. Over here on my right. And over on the table over there, we have the wonderful Alex. Hello. Stephanie. Hello. And Brayden. Hello. How are we all doing today? I like, I like yes. how that went down the table. It was really cute. It Very was. Awesome. <laughs> one, three, four. Was that not it, one, four, three? Is that sort of like tr- tricky? No, you, you nailed it. It was just a bit of a weird way to announce. Took me off guard. It <laughs> it's, it's maybe because I was... And it made me realize that we're never going to have like an order of numbers until we do two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, God. Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. I tried my be best. Curious. I was trying to remember all the things I had to say, and then I, I couldn't remember it as a proper number. I just remember the data, you know, <laughs> one, three, four. Yeah, save, save, it. It, yeah. It. Yeah. save it for the review. Okay, for okay. The review. Numbers in reviews. Ah, uh, we do review movies on this show, don't Sometimes. we? Sometimes. Well. Yeah, mm. and we review classic movies. Good one. In Very our good. segment, Classic Call Out. He's classic getting, Call Out. Get that. He's getting stuffed be- it up. He's getting better than me on the buttons now. Yeah, look, Michael's was, got them I may have also double, double checked when I first sat down. I was like, make sure I have it in my head. Good some work. of us were in a lot of sync and some of us weren't, <laughs> but it's all happening. I've, yeah. That's two weeks in a row. I just forget. I'm in. Okay. To so, say it. Michael, what did we watch this we week? We watched Dances with Wolves. Another long one. Another long one. A long boy. Longer for some. Longer for yeah, some. Yeah, even longer for if some. If you watch the extended version. Which is an extra. 40. Some say that's the proper version. Some did you would say. did you set out to watch the director's cut, or did you just download a version? And think. Whoa! Whoa! Uh, whoa! 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 What the fuck are you trying to do? A, a right. choir. Let, how can I say this? Because right, the police so are at the door waiting. I hear a car. Download. He <laughs> happened upon a version. From, from you can download movies and Look, pay for them. When whoa. I you can pay and download movies, but it's you can't streaming. buy this film anywhere online. Chris put twenty five dollars in a letter and That's mailed it. To Much Costner. like Costner does in the film, I rode out onto the prairie looking for a download, and um, I saw the standard version, and I saw the extended cut, and I had a quick sus, and I saw you know the numbers, what was going on, and I I made the decision to get the shorter version because I thought it'd be easier to watch. Right? This is quite late at night. Mm. And then the next morning, I was like, oh, yeah, I got, got that to watch. And I realized I downloaded the extended one. And I realized that <laughs> tired me was a lot wiser than I thought. <laughs> Knew what was Because I totally thought, oh, no, I definitely chose the shorter one. But I got the big boy. So that's how I ended up with it. And okay. I watched it. And this is all hypothetical as well. This isn't actually what happened. <laughs> no, no. It's always interesting <laughs> with, like, extended cuts and that. Like, like... I don't understand studios and directors that release extended cuts to their films that are only like a minute longer. It's just like, yeah, like, this like, is, what, what's the it, difference? But when you got shit like this, that's like fifty-four minutes longer. You're like, okay, you've yeah, you've done this something. is you know a movie longer. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. You've it, done, it, you've done stuff. It is. It is. I don't know lot. what that stuff is, but it's a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't really know I'm, either. I'm but. eager to find out. Um, I think I, w- I was looking through a thing before that was comparing like what was different and everything. There's a lot of like extended scenes. And, like, adding scenes that add another, like, 20, 30 seconds each time and stuff. Like, mm. a lot of, like, I feel like it's a lot of world flavor. Like, th- yeah. there was one yeah. early on, which was just they inserted 22 seconds of a guy with a telescope on a hill. <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's a really good way to say it. I, I'd say it's majority, probably little bits here and there that just add that feel, longer, mm. lo- hold longer on a so shot here the, and there. The you live in the world the West Cup. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you go. What was that? Once upon a time in the West Cut. Just holding yes. it, lingering on shit. A lot of tail, a yeah. lot of head. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, pretty much. You have to live in the moment. You have to live in the field with them yeah, to so experience the world. So mm. we watched Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> 1990. It's one of our newer Won classics. Won seven Oscars. Yeah. Which I was shocked seven. when you said no, that you before. You need two hands to count that. So Including Best a- I do. Movie. Not best actor. Picture. Best Picture. Got nominated yep. for Best Actor. Oh, Didn't win it. Costner. Anyway, the magic. Was the Costner magic there? Oh, yes. oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. When is the Costner magic never there? Yeah. What's your favorite name from the movie? Dances with Wolves. Yeah. Kicking Birds. Good. One. I like Kicking Bird. Kicking Bird's good. Yeah. Uh, uh, stands with a fist. Stands with a fist. Stands is- with, okay. Yeah. Stands with fist. That's that's pretty hardcore. It's pretty good. That is yeah. Yeah. Hardcore. I'm named after a, a triumphant moment a in my childhood. But yeah. I, li- I, li- I like how his his Dances with Wolves is sort of just. Him bumbling around, like just trying to shield away. Like it's not, yeah. it's not like an overly majestic moment or anything. No. He's named after. It's sort of just, they watched him just fumble around trying to tell this but wolf to go away. It is cool because he's like the like he's used to the wolf, and at this point, like he's treating it almost like a pet. Obviously, yeah. it's still a bit yeah. standoffish, but like they're really friendly. 
And yeah, him just kind of interacting with the wolf is like, for him, it's just like, yeah, get away, wolf. Stop following me because you like me so much. And the Indians are all just like watching it like, who is this white man? He's like, he's literally friends with a wolf. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> yeah, it's great. I love this movie. Yeah, I, I, I loved it too. I, I quite I, enjoyed I, this one. Yeah. I very, very much liked it. I thought that it was awesome. It was, it was awesome. Didn't, uh, I, yeah, I didn't feel the length. The only annoying part was having fucking ads. Every every yeah. half hour, I think that that took definitely takes out of it. Like because like like I'd, I'd like ad? fucking Are SBS even? SBS, SBS so on demand. Place. Thank you. That's two times and it helped us out. The only way the white folk choose to keep these ads. Unfortunately, <laughs> there's no other to, way. In order to legally watch this without paying, uh, I see. SBS demand. But the thing is, I would have bought it on Apple TV if I could have, but you can't even. It's buy not it. even. It was it wasn't on Amazon. I normally rate them on Amazon. You couldn't do that. I see. You should use the website I use. Such a fucking classic, this one. Yeah. Is kind of <laughs> I was going to say, interesting that it's a classic when we can hardly... But yeah, you know, one best picture. It's it's done well. Maybe I really, really like it. The fact that it's it. harder to acquire, it's just more modern, so there's more like copyright protection. There's a Blu-ray <laughs> yeah. of, of, out of there that I kind of want to get. You get the theatrical and extended, so I might look into that. Wow. That'd That's be right. multiple. Yeah. I definitely... I didn't... Old movie, feel, old medium. I definitely didn't feel the length compared to the one last week. Um, Once Upon a Time in the West. You felt the length more in Once Upon a Time in the West? Yeah, definitely. Okay. But I think that also is a true to like the long standing suspenseful shots. But I did quite enjoy it. Even in, the, even in the moments where like there wasn't like a lot going on, I didn't find myself like, you know, checking the time or anything. Like it was still, I was still like into the movie a fair bit. I just like Kevin. I liked, yeah. I liked his... um. I liked his narration. Mm. I always got I always got happy when his narration yeah, no, came back right, on. Yeah, right. I was just I like, like hearing oh. him talk about things. Same. I was like, oh, he had such a like. A, I like he's just repairing the fort on his own for no. I reason. like how content he is in the fact that he's alone. He's just like, oh, I'm still waiting. He's but like, that's okay. the point because he, he ha- he's been living with the the industrial folk. He doesn't know how to live. Yeah, you know? that's the thing. Like he 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 got basically a free ticket. To, to do anything. Yeah. Right. And he, he chose to, to go frontier. to the frontier. Like he just, just be alone. Like he didn't have an idea of where, how to, I like that. What, what is the pursuit? Well, the thing of is like, also, he, he, he joined the army and then he got injured. And then what does he do? And try he, and kill himself. When he settles, <laughs> yeah. when he settles down with the Indians, he realizes what the true meaning of life is. Yeah. I, I like that. Just awesome. chilling and having the a thing smoke. Is, no and, one actually you know, knows he's out there. Cause, cause the, the guy gets scalped. And the, then, yeah. The guy gets scalped and the other dude kills himself as soon as he's He's crazy as, yeah. Yeah. So that's all a bit of fun. Really? Not. Yeah. But got a bit tense towards the end when he's recaptured and and um you have those three this mm. three of them, right? The those contrast three. of just the the motivations of the people. Like mm. you got these like uh, American like um kids, you know, they're just uneducated, they're just they're doing grunt work, they're, they're out on the frontier. They're they're fucks. They're scum, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, but I mean they're just uneducated kids, not, not their fault. But yeah, compared to these Indian people that uh it's they're in their home when they're in the land, right? And in the area. Whereas these kids are just like, they are, for them, it's just like a backwater, like out, we're out here, we're away from everything, you know, don't care. Like just make yeah. a mess, whatever. And just you like, know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's just. It has no uh, consequence for them when they go if, back to, their, to yeah. their regular life. When they're just shooting at the animals yeah, I was and stuff. Two socks. And it's like, well, they're just bored out in the middle of nowhere and they have been for weeks and weeks and weeks and months. And it's just like, yeah, of course they're just like shooting and chilling and laughing and they're just like a rabble. I'm, yeah, that's it. They're yeah, rebel houses. Yeah. Fucking hated the rebel one though. Yeah, yeah, just the contrast from like what uh, happens from like you know a big civilization when we're seeing these like sent away from that, compared to yeah this like literal like, hunter gatherer uh, pre uh, agriculture like tribe I tell who, you what, who who just I like really and just the spiritual significance of the land as well. Yeah, in the the fight, he says, "I've never fought a war like this." Cause yeah, there's never fought a war where the women and children, yeah, the yeah. women and children yeah. were fighting for a right uh, here, like yeah. in the fight, in the yeah. tent. I was, yeah, I was about to say that, like, you get the very contrast, like, you have this group of people that you know want to take whatever for themselves, and the other people that are fighting because you know they so they can have the resources and survive the winter. Like, it's sort yeah. of like, well, one one's going to suffer if the other if they don't do anything like someone's going to suffer so like obviously yeah. they it's like a need to one's have fighting this for fight. survival one's fighting for power yeah so but yeah I, I got this huge uh flash of um this idea from this other novel called sapiens about how like when humans became a bigger civilization it was kind of detrimental to the to actual general human lives like lives for general humans got worse when we got industrialized and everything yeah right and it's like 
this movie shows that. Yeah, <laughs> it's like absolutely. I very much enjoyed everything. Yeah. Pretty much with the Indians, like the Stone Age tribe yeah. just chilling around the campfire is happier than the starving like laborer. You know, That's in, the, in the city needs right. Like exactly. even, even after that that hunt, like you see, Costner here's his idea. Like oh, you know, I'm tired from this. Like. I'm just, I just don't want to be a part of the party sort of thing. And he's like getting trade? dragged into it. Yeah, trade. Good, good trade. But like he's get, trade. he gets like dragged into it and he genuinely like has a good time. Like, you know, they've just done this great thing. And like, you know, yeah. he genuinely like joins in. and I like it's, that. Because it's the tribe. Yeah. I it's was, the family. Something I was really expecting for them to do, and I'm really glad they didn't do it, was I'm expecting there was just that one person in the tribe who wasn't on board. And yeah. that was going to be a big conflict that like. Yeah. yeah that, that's like pretty squashed. You thought like wind... It, Wind in, wind, yeah. in, wind in hair the, and wind hair, hair in the wind, wind or yeah. whatever it is. you thought he was going to be it first. Yeah. yeah you thought he was going to just and, not like him for no good like, reason he's just like you're my best friend at the end of the yeah. film yeah. yeah but like he gives you like his genuine like reasoning why he was hesitant he was sort of like you know like she she was married to my best friend like I didn't know if I was going to like you and stuff but mm. like like you know like he grows on him and like you can see like the reservation at the start and like, yeah. it's a just justified develops. kind yeah. of reservation he, yeah he's just like I, I yeah I wasn't the, your biggest fan but like you know obviously he, as they bond, it just gets squashed. I really got yeah. happy when they revealed that the redhead fuck he stole, the, who was who had the journal, couldn't yeah. read. And I was just like, oh, it's, he's no danger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No yeah. danger in his hands. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not. I didn't have a lot of real problems with this film. There's oh. some things you can just look at and go. There's parts where he still. To me, the narration in the film's coming from him writing in his journal. Yeah. There's a part where his journal gets lost and he doesn't have it and he starts narrating again. Because, yeah. because that's him separating from yeah. society and, and records, you know. He's, he's speaking his own mind out I really, in the free like, land. It doesn't bother me, but <laughs> that came across from my mind in a second. I went, I, I like this movie too much. To like, 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 It's just a yeah. thought in your head. It's like yeah. if there was a negative, like... Yeah. I, yeah, I, I it's don't not really a negative. It's just yeah. something I was just like, mm, oh. Yeah. It's just something you notice. Like a little like, plot hole. Like, I reckon I, I'm on board with you. Like, I genuinely don't really think this had too many... Issues. And I was really no, worried. Yeah. I was like, it's, it's, it's probably going to drag. And then yep. I was like, I was so like pleasantly surprised. I just like was great and mm. consistently great. But yeah. So I think after the podcast, we pack it all down, um, burn our homes and we, we move out. We, we move to the wilderness. That's it. Yeah. Return to monkey. Do we, Kaipo? 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 <laughs> do we bring the podcast equipment? No. We're going to we go monkeys. Could do a podcast. Who could we broadcast it to? It would be live. Ah. Analog. Do we just like <laughs> write? Do we just write it as a yeah, letter and really send it loud. to somebody? We, we'll just we, perform it in the world. People can come. Could, dance around yeah. a fire. You could convert the podcast into binary and then do smoke signals. Oh, I know binary. binary. That would take a while. Yeah, probably. Uh, I know binary. binary. Would you have different <laughs> color smoke for different voices on the podcast? Have to, have no, to. it's just all in zeros and ones. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> That's fair. I'm non-binary, so it's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Um, Alex, you uh, well, wrap around. Everyone enjoyed it. You're rated it quite highly, I assume. I give it a four, I think. I'm pushing four and a half, five even. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying, pushing four and a half. I think yeah, just four and a half is I'm good. I'm sitting between four and a half and four. Yeah. Probably leaning higher ish, but very nice. Five's like changed bit. my life, you know. Yeah. Cosmo just <laughs> took me away, which it almost yeah, genuine. Especially after watching, like, was the like watching the bodyguard. Especially, <laughs> oh especially like cause we we watched, we've got the two Costner spectrums yeah. though. We got fun Costner and I know we, really we fun technically Costner. we got we got we've also had. Like we also had Field of Dreams. It's mm. like we. I feel like that's really fun. Cosmo. God, we yeah, had so much great. Cosmo. We, yeah. we have, and that I was feel better, like better than Field of Dreams is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's so much a bigger scale. Yeah, it can be it. better. Well, like it the can way, be more. The way I think of it, like this is a better film. Field of Dreams is probably more watchable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Field, of Dream, yeah. Field of Dreams is just like is a good time. This is like a great time. A gr- <laughs> this <laughs> is mean, an epic. But yeah, yeah I mean, it's great. It's really is it threw me away, especially after coming off the Bodyguard. I was like. Is there just was he just in a lot or was he like genuinely great? He was in, great? He was in everything. I know he was in a lot, but like, mm. was he genuinely great in anything? And my, I've had my answer. Has he won an acting Oscar? I'm pretty sure he won director for this, but has he won an acting Oscar? I'm on it. Let me have a look. Uh, while I'm on it, do you want to bring up the wheel? Oh, I'm on it Ooh. to find the wheel. Our next classic movie that we have to watch. Yeah. If it wasn't apparent by me being silent for ten minutes, I have not watched Dances with Wolves I was yet. Say, what did you think, Raider? <laughs> yeah, I totally loved it. It was great. Uh, I liked the wolf. Um, no, he I did too. I there was no a wolf. Too. There is actually a wolf. Yeah. Okay, cool. It's called socks. Two socks. socks. Two, socks. Two, socks. two socks. Oh, I love that. That's because like the fur on its <gasps> feet, oh, like look like yes. Two socks. Like my oh cat. my god, that's great. My cat has socks and she has a hole in one of her socks. So she's <laughs> there's a little bit of breath. silly little rascal. This is a very weird tangent. Um, but yeah, uh, I we'll will watch it and I will catch up yeah. and we will see. Um, I'm seeing 
Jesus what Christ, there's there? a whole other article which is list of awards and nominations received by his, Kevin Costner. His awards has, has its own wiki page. Has its own article. He's won two Academy Awards. He's won, okay. Jesus Christ, there's so many. All right. What did he, no, not best actor. No, so I'm looking two, for best actor. Well, Nothing for the postman. Well, he's, a, he's, never, <laughs> yes. he's not won Academy Award what, 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 for best actor. No, he's, he's never won an won. Academy he's Award He's only won two and they're both for actor. best uh, for Dances with Best Wolves. Picture and Best Director of Dances with Wolves. Nominated, but... You know what? I'd rather a Best Director than Best Actor, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like that's a way bigger... You put way win. more work in as a director, I reckon. And I think it, spe- I spe- I think it speaks a lot being getting directing whilst also starring in this movie. Yeah. Like, I think it speaks a lot. Well, um, yeah. He won Worst Actor for um, The Postman. <laughs> really? There you go. Like a Razzie or something. Yeah, the Golden Raspberry Awards. Uh, the Postman won Worst Picture, Worst Actor, and Worst Look, Director. His acting wasn't the problem in that film. <laughs> <laughs> the Worst Director and Worst Picture will we'll give. <laughs> yeah. God damn. Uh, guys, I'm going to spin the wheel. Oh, here oh. we go. All right. Spin, spin that, that wheel. Here we go. <laughs> we need some sound effects. Oh, we're going back to Scorsese. Scorsese. Oh, on Cape Fear. Oh, okay. I'm excited. This is the the Simpsons episode where Science Show Bob goes under the car and follows him to the city. Uh, the rakes, the rakes, the rakes. Yeah. Classic. Uh, yeah, How long yeah. is this one? I can't wait for the rake scene in this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if it's another three hour one, I may. This walk is out. just over two hours. Okay, we're okay. That's for off sure. Google though. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, we don't I trust ha- Google. I have to mention that um, with Dances with Wolves because of the Avatar. Uh, connection. Connection. Was anyone else expecting the entire tribe to be massacred before the movie of ended? Course, I of haven't course. seen Avatar, so I had no expectations. <laughs> I, I, I was waiting like, for that to be a resource that they needed fuck, to mine. That didn't happen. <laughs> <Yeah>. See, <laughs> I, I was, in my head, I was like, now we made a comparison. Like someone compared yeah. it. And like when I read like the little synopsis thing, I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds like Avatar. But like in my head, I was trying to sit there as I started the movie. I was like, what are we, what are we on about? And like halfway through the movie, I was like, it's Avatar. I like... <laughs> I like, I like that this wasn't. You know, this could have so easily been like the white savior movie, but they saved him. They did. They did. Yeah. Mm. You would have been nauseated mm. thinking that the, all of them were going to just be. That's what I thought. By and him. I was like, wait, I, I was waiting was enough of the movie left yeah. that that could happen. Where's the, <laughs> like, big tree? At the, oh, where's the, the really big tree? I need a really big tree. Is that how yeah, Avatar ends? Where's the tree? Yeah, where's the tree? Tree blows up. Unobtainium. Tree blows up. Tree blows yeah, up. Yeah, they the tree. Have you not seen Avatar? Yeah, just, they I fucking annihilate. How, how do you know there's a tree? What are you talking? about? They just tell <laughs> the, the, <laughs> you know tree. about the, you know about the tree. Everyone I dies watch Avatar, Avatar now. I want to watch Avatar tree. too. Yeah, everybody I dies. I also want to watch Avatar too. Big time. Can we, can we go? Can we watch Avatar? I can't we can watch Avatar. I don't believe you guys. Can we do a movie night where we all watch Avatar? Lots of space. It's been so long. Lots of space animals die in Avatar. Or moon animals. And a lot of natives too. Yeah, a lot of native moon animals. The humans win in Avatar. Yeah. Yeah, the bad humans. Well, the bad. I don't and know. Oh, no, oh, no well, they, they get they get sent off. Hey, Blue Earth, guys Earth still exists. They get Avatar sent 2 off. coming soon. Yeah, Avatar I, means the water coming 2012. I'm shocked. I need to watch Pandora. this and see what's going Asterix. on. Asterix. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't believe you guys. I think you're pulling my leg. Well, we're being completely You're on Pandora. There's actually not a giant tree. That's we a, just lied. That's a scary place. Yeah, there's Steph. no there's no trees. It's a desert planet. You've seen Avatar, <laughs> haven't you? No. So could you? Oh, you haven't. Yeah. <laughs> Steph, How I'm, I'm going to say a sentence and I want you to tell me if it's real or fake. The same way they connect and ride with their horses and dragons is the same way they have sex and is also how they connect with their ancestors through trees. Oh, yeah. You went too into detail for it not to be true. What part of yeah, that is fake? True. What part of it is fake? What part of that is fake? There are no dragons. Oh, you know, oh honey. <laughs> you know there's forests that are big connected ecosystems? Like That was 100% that, true. That real. <laughs> Every single yeah. part of that sentence I said was true. Yeah. I was saying in Do you know life. how they do it? They've got little tentacles in the bottom oh, of their okay. hair. Okay, all right. They have, yeah, right. they've got little. They all have in their braids. Have little braid. Yeah, I have braids. seen the braids. <laughs> I've seen the braids. The braids make the braid make a, connection. Make it's the oddly, connection. It's oddly Wait. satisfying when they connect, though. They yeah, have it sex is. With braids. But they never connect human to human very often, except in that very spicy scene. I am just so confused. I'm gonna watch the movie. I'll come <laughs> no, back. Speaking no. of spice. <laughs> oh. Speaking of spice. Speaking yep. of spice. That's. Brayden, you Brayden. Got- I was, was going to have a connection there. That's fine. That was almost a great segue. Yeah, I was just waiting for someone else to. I we, I did the heavy lifting. Someone we went, off, to we went off on such a tangent on Avatar that we lost the the segue Speaking of, of like spice must like, flow like sci-fi animals and stuff. And um, boy, did it flow! It flowed. The boys in this one, uh, the so spice flew. A novel was written in 1965. A film was made. Film 
was made in 1984. A YouTube edit was uploaded. <laughs> a YouTube edit was uploaded in 2012. <laughs> 2012. <laughs> yeah. And a new movie released last month in America and now <laughs> is arriving this week here in Australia. It's been a long road. It's Dune. June. June. Dune. June. God damn that Dunny whole Dune. intro. Dunny Dune. June. 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 June rats. June. June because the narrator for the 80s film... June. Says I've they call this planet June. June. So that must be like the colloquial name, right? I'm so, I'm so excuse me? Harkonnen. The Dune, because I mean like the planet is Arrakis. Yeah. So the Dune must be the colloquial name, right? Or is... Define colloquial. I think, like I think, I think, I think he called, <laughs> I think he, I think he called <laughs> his sci-fi book about the desert planet. Dune. Like meaning like it's a colloquial, yeah. it's, like it's a kind of like a, it's a, it's, it's, like, like, it's a, a nickname, like yeah, a slang yeah, term Yeah, it is a nickname. It. Okay, yes. gotcha. Boy. Gotcha. Glad thing this film just didn't just come out because we'd be butchering this. Did we talk about it <laughs> on the show when we... We haven't. It's a great haven't. review. I didn't realise that we hadn't spoken we haven't, about We haven't spoken about June yet. This okay, so some of us... Dune review. That's why I of us started. watched this when it came out in America. Yes. Yeah. We no, flew I, to America. I watched, we flew to America. It. I watched it in cinemas. Yeah. Legally. We flew to America and we watched it. That's Guys, it. easy in today's climate. We had not mentioned that we saw this film before last night. No. We could have just gone along. Yeah, and you guys would have been fine. The review was going... This is this is not a June review. <laughs> We're just talking about what what is this? Chris, this I don't is, know how long you've been here. This is very much an MMT movie review. Okay, I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, Michael, Michael hasn't, hasn't seen, seen June. Right. Dune, like, we so. can't even talk about it, can we? I mean, yeah, it's been too soon for spoilers. A, but the plot of the this plot movie has, has existed spoiled. for yeah, yeah, years. Like, what an original I, plot! I, I, like, I knew though. everything that was going to happen. I still like, yeah. want to go in blind like you, though. Yeah, tell you I'm what, I'm planning to go see it very soon. So. Harkonnen, Harkonnen, which one is it? I was the Harkonnen. only person on this team who has seen the new Dune. Who Dune, Dune, <laughs> Dune, Dune, Denis Dune, Villeneuve. What get, are you get it Dune. soon? Dune in my swamp. <laughs> um, <laughs> How you Dune? I'm the only person here who knew nothing about Dune going in. All I knew Dune. was sandworms and spice. Those are the spice. only two things that I knew spice. about right. Dune. And perspective. I tell on the plot. you what. This film was fucking awesome. It was so cool. I'm so on board. It got a five out of five from me. I fucking loved it. I'm so glad. I completely get why there's so much talk around this book series and this world that's been created because it's just fascinating in so many different aspects. Just you telling me the book was written in the 60s. I thought that plot. Yeah. It's so. You really see how much it's influenced everything. Mm. It's Mm. influenced Star Wars. It's influenced every single sci-fi property you've ever seen in the last 40 years. It's ridiculous. Um, mm. The like everything about this film adaptation was so cool, and there's so many moments in there where you get to just sort of live in the world and like see how their technology works and understand what's going on through context clues. They're not feeding you through info, info dumps, except for when they are feeding you through info dumps. But even then, it's interesting because you're finding out more about the world and you just want to know more. Um, Someone said a great quote. They said the director for Dune, uh, the new one, remembered that sci-fi's Dune. are about world building, yes, and not laser fights. Yeah, yep. <laughs> we don't have to. We don't have to jump to the laser fight. Yeah, we want to understand go, why there's these twenty palm trees. Watch, That's what the genre of sci-fi is. Yeah, like crazy conceptual, high, mm. big things. And yeah. then when you get to the fight. And the big action sequences, you're in absolute awe because of the sense of scale, the technologies being used, the visual effects are friggin' awesome. Mm. Like the sound, like the like we were talking about the music and everything. Oh, the the, the score and the soundtrack is my favorite part. I just I love it. it gives me chills. Well, Zimmer's yeah. been Zimmer's been wanting to do the Dune movie since like forever. Like he's didn't, been saying for years. He didn't do Tenant to do this. Yeah, he turned down his old mate Nolan. Mm. To be like, nah, fuck you. I'm doing the Dune movie. And Nolan Nolan wasn't happy. Like, I'm assuming Zimmer has had ideas in his head for years. And Dune was the better What he wanted the sound to be in this film. Absolutely. And I think they achieved an incredible, incredible way of, like, representing everything in it. All right, Um, look. Soundtrack, not better than Toto. Still pretty awesome. (laughs) Still pretty great. 
All right. It's hard to There beat. were definitely some guitar melodies that came in at yeah. around the bag, uh, bag airfield bombardment scene. Bag yeah. type out of that bag I was like, oh, is, is this Toto? Is this Toto? This sound a little, wow. like a little hint, a little wink maybe to the a older homage. film soundtrack. He has put some homages in there. Hans Zimmer is the type of person. The way that music came in was so Toto from the other June. <laughs> yeah. Those, I, yeah. So n- knowing nothing going in, it just blew my socks off. It was awesome. There were times where I like... I think there were legitimately times where I like my jaw was like, oh, like what is happening, and I was like so interested in what's going on because I don't know anything. I, Did I didn't. I didn't know well worth the cinema the, watch. Uh, Imperial announcer. It was like House of Trees. Oh my god! Will so take great. Henceforth, like the, it's just like the, yes. The like, I don't know why this is happening, but it's awesome. The aspect <laughs> of the world building where it's this, it's this old school style to everything, even in the sense of like they've got the retro tech which I then got explained to me afterwards by these guys who have read up on it a bit more. The fact that like this world, that like this universe, everything about it is because like AI took over and then they can't use computers yeah. anymore. Like so the law extends backwards as far as it does forwards, like before the actual story. You like. don't need it in the movie and it works anyway. Um, like I could Doesn't rave it, about every aspect of this movie. It's just got a lot for like people like yourself who went into the movie Mm. Without knowing much, but love and it, right? Now I'm you've got so much nerd. that you can like research into. Oh my in god! Yeah, like I'm buying the novel. Didn't like, impact your 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 viewing, but yeah. there's so much for you now. Yeah, there's so right. much now that I can fill in gaps and everything. Yeah. Um, I loved every performance in it. I thought everyone was fucking great. Oscar Isaac is a fucking snack. He looks incredible in this movie. There was a lot. Of, <sighs> there was like enough for a there's enough meal. There's enough of ev- everyone there for whoever you want. And we've got a whole nother part. Oh my god. It's going to be crazy. And, yeah. and TV show. And TV. Are they doing a TV show? The TV there show. already is a TV show. They're doing, he's doing one. There's another June ap- adaptation. It's a mini series made in like the 2000s. With um, yeah. someone, someone's um, in it. Yeah. In it. Uh, James McAvoy's in it. Ah, okay. Ooh, oh, really? yes. They're doing yeah. Children of June. No, they're doing some sort of. Children of June. I've heard that the, before. HBO Max. HBO is doing yep. a series and it's going to be about the, the witches. But anyway. All right. As a but fan, yeah, as a huge fan of the uh, '80s June, mm. um, I was kind of looking for. I just want that to be fixed because so much of that is right, right, mm-hmm. and so much is so wrong. <laughs> 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 and this is a very good go at that. Like the best parts from um, the '80s version are just straight adapted from the book, and this they clearly went like straight down the same thing because the the great scenes, like the. Um, the, the fitting box, of the suit. The box, the box. The box. The suit. They're all word for word, just like the 80s version, like just from the book. And it's they're just great scenes, mm. you know. But the parts that are changed. <laughs> Take some creative liberties. Yes. So uh, a lot of the, um, the the whole voice in the 80s version yeah. is cringe as you don't, you can't tell what's going on. There's a lot of like normal voiceovers of them in their head anyway. Uh, yep. So determ- the difference between that and when he's like using the voice on people is... Yep. Yeah. Weird. So first five minutes of the new movie, there's a breakfast scene mm. and they yes. use the voice. Yeah. I had chills. Dude. I was like, oh, they did the voice good. Oh, this movie, it's going to be good. It's I was scared, like, this movie's going to be good. It scared <laughs> the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah. Every single time it appeared and anytime it appeared and I wasn't expecting it, yeah. scared the fuck out of me. It was so just boomingly loud. Because I'm, I'm oh. waiting to see these elements that were so like corny in the in the mm, 80s version. And done just well. the first time that sh- that they used that they, how they put it across at yeah. the dinner table, I was like, Did you oh, end up seeing I was like, hold up, shoots? hold up. So, uh, no, I never ended up looking it up. So you must see the original shoots. Oh. They are, they are I, I think I, depending on how these actually look, I heard an interview in, about Loki. Imagine a see-through um, Lego block over his body. Yes, yes. So <laughs> when they were discussing the time portal doors that they opened in Loki, they were like, we want the visuals of the 80s Dune movie. Shields. Oh, right. And so okay. they've like, they kind of took that and adapted it and stuff. I'm pretty sure it'll be like that. I'm watching it right now. Oh my God, it is exactly the doors from Loki. That's great. Oh my God, it looks terrible. Beautiful. Look they at look all those like white Roblox people. Roblox or yeah. Tars. Like- but yeah, um, obviously the 80s oh version God. is a, a tiny bit longer, but <laughs> double the movie in terms of what it uh, shows. So I thought this did a very right. good job. Sorry, at- the theatrical 80s. The theatrical 80s one. Isn't long, 80s one is pretty much the same length as this, yeah, two, like two and a half two, hours. Two eighteen. Yeah. 
And it's, yeah, like double the amount of story. Yeah, the, double the so content. So I, it's, I cannot imagine that. Yeah, well, Quality that's why by the time you get to the end of this movie, yeah. it's already in like quick mode. Yeah. And it's already like bang, it's bang, already, bang, like, stories we're going. Start flying through Whereas it. basically this first Dune movie, this movie is essentially what is actually done good in the 80s version. God like damn. what we see in this movie. Because yeah. then it's like... I mean, it's like you just try and tack on 10 minutes at the end of this and tell the rest of the story. That's the 80s version. Yeah. 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 So it's, it's good that we're getting a part two. And the issue is that this isn't a whole movie and that's a shame. But really, what more could you expect? You could, mm. You'd have to get like a six-hour cut. Oh, I would to- make this one longer, just just FYI. I mean, so I, w- I'm I said with- to Alex straight away, I'd add half, I'd add half an hour. <laughs> I'm honest it, to God. Make it three hours. I hate, would have been the last fine. Line yeah. hate uh, the last line. The last line is cringy as fuck. so cringy. I don't have an issue with Desert it. Desert power. That no, 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 not no, that. No, no. This is only the beginning. Oh, does, I that's the fucking last one. I was she, remembering she Desert turned, Power as the last one. She turns and looks him square in the face, which yeah. is Wouldn't basically be a great directly line, down Christian, camera. Bro. I thought it was. I, I, I think I blocked that out. I was directly power. down camera. <laughs> and she goes, this is it's only, only the, beginning. the beginning. I don't take issue with it. It's like it's there. That's it's only part one. Yeah, it's, <laughs> so, it's, like, oh, it's, like, it's part, That's what it is. Like, fuck off. No, yeah, we get it. You're yeah. doing a part two. It should basically well, come up with a thing on the screen which says, please sign the contract for part two. <laughs> Doom well, will return. Just, just remember <laughs> Desert return. Powers being the end. Yeah, I, like, if, to me, if I could edit this into one movie, which I hope they do. Mm. They, they were going to do it with it. Put the two of it together, but they end up yeah. doing it. If they did it, just cut that line out. Yeah. Mean? Desert Power would be such a fucking great ending. Oh, man. I mean, for that um, that end shot, it's such like a, oh, other fuck, few issues. the next yeah. movie's going to well, have so have, much shit in it. I I'm so excited. Three. Uh, they made the, um, uh, is it, I can't, we're not spoiling. Yeah, they we're made, not really spoiling They made it. the worm riding look cool, look cool. Yeah. It does not look cool in the 80s version. No, doesn't it? It's terrible. <laughs> no. mm. uh, there's, there's, look, there's CGI is 99%. 99.9. Yeah. I'd say 99.9. It is a solid four seconds. Sound, sound and score also 99.9% yep. great. Yeah. One part that I just can't get around. Yeah. Um, in terms of the theme and the scope. Of the actual like sci-fi, mm. I'd say like 99, 99. It, it, yeah, it, it hits it hits most of its marks, yeah. which is good. There, there's only one um, I would say disappointing flaw in the um, adaptation, and that's Doctor Yui. See, after watching it a second time, big screen, yep. it, to me it wasn't. It was fine to me. Yep. You so didn't see, you didn't see you Doctor Yui is a bit weird. No, I. I can understand what you mean, especially after watching like in the, the other ones. But in this yeah. one, I thought it worked for this one. So I we're not guess. doing spoilers yeah. about this guy, but yeah. th- th- there there is a character who, in this film, and me saying this as yep. the person who's only seen this film, nothing else about it. Yeah, so yeah. he's in this film for maybe ten minutes of like scene yes. time, like, and that's not him on screen. That's scene. Who is he? In. Who is he to you? Um, I have absolutely no idea. But like. As like to the Atreides, do you know who who he is to them? Oh, like he like he he's their like medical professional, isn't he? Yeah, he's like their family like doctor. Yeah, like okay, yeah. Like I I, I picked I up on sure all that. I wasn't sure if that came across well. I no. felt like he he only appeared on Arrakis, and then five minutes after I met him, he's like doing the betraying thing. everybody. Yeah. After <laughs> after you um after you pointed it out, I w- and I watched it again. I did notice, and I felt like if like you said, if they were going to add an extra half an hour to it, I would want it to. I would probably want it to be fleshing out the character more, just because mm. of the pivotal role that he plays later on. Like I feel like it it's carries just, more weight to it. It was a huge it betrayal, you, you and it him. just it was just like I mean I was suspecting because I, I I knew the character from the older ones, but mm. it sounds like it didn't really have it didn't really wasn't jarring. I was so, gonna say watching it watching it I guess for, like to, to as me, my first experience. Yeah. I thought it, I thought it was really well. I and thought it, and honestly, well. the portrayal happens it. halfway through the film, so like I can I'd be way on board if if say the film ended that the portrayal was at the Act three of the film. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's two. not like leading to the betrayal. That is no. the plot. I am, I yeah. am so here for if this movie had ended plot wise like an hour earlier, but the film was the same length and they just added more shit to yeah. pr- like prior. I want, I want I want so much of this world. The only thing I'm like, everything. I need more is Harkonnens. More Harkonnen. Ooh. But the second part's going to be a lot. Oh, <laughs> so, it'll be a lot. Yeah. They but are fascinating. I wanted though. to see more of Giddy Prime. Because they only showed like one or two. They scenes did one, on, on Giddy Prime. one like takeaway Giddy Prime, shot of it. Giddy Prime, Prime. Did we see Giddy? Giddy Prime? No, you're right. I saw Giddy, Giddy, Prime. Giddy Prime. is Harkonnen I want to see more Giddy Prime. This yeah. is my, my extra half an hour. Yeah. I have a tiny bit more Doctor Yui, more Harkonnens, more Giddy Prime. Pr- uh, Giddy Prime. Prime. And I mean, the language bit, in this film is not incredibly easy. Yeah, yeah. And I still maybe, don't know what the witch people were called. I love Bene the throat singing. A bit Bene more Jesuit. of the betrayal showing kind of what actually happens to Paul and his mum because they kind of just disappear and they're like, oh yeah, they got taken. Yeah. 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 Uh, we like to. Four and a half. 
every, like every actor in this movie fucking is committing. You like the dragonfly helicopters? Don't Love dude. them. So cool. So cool. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god, there's so many things in this movie. Yeah, there you go. Michael's Michael. like, ah, ah, ah. It's cool. Yep. Um, I thought I better I think my you're gonna, voice in. I think you're gonna love it. I think <laughs> you just will really that. like it. Um you like sci fi, so you like spice? I love that spice is Sugar, just glitter. Spice and everything spice. nice. Spice is just glitter. Girls, glitter in sand. That's all it is. I would say I would describe glitter in sand as our Patreons. Yep. Our patrons are definitely glitter sure. that supports glitter sand. They're the, they're the thing that provides value to us. Diamonds in the rough, spice unrefined. Yeah. Where they unrefine <laughs> spice and they refine it by giving us money over on patreoncom slash movie talk. We can chuck us a buck or two, and you get a bunch of bonus shit like our pre-show every single episode, which is always us rambling on about random stuff. It's uh, a wild ride. This one ended up. Uh, th- this episode's one ended up being about Ridley Scott and what was before that? We had a big discussion about some other random shit. Astronauts, yeah. elements. Astronauts, elements. Didn't mention the big guy from June that goes... <laughs> oh, my God. The throat singing guy. <laughs> the throat singing. Dude, the throat singing was What's he awesome. doing? I don't know. He was, he was, always, he was jangering something The beginning of the film always catches tussing. me off guard. <laughs> because before even any title credits, it, all you hear is... <laughs> oh, <laughs> it does that and it says one thing with subtitles... And then it cuts to like the movie start, like the like that's his production, production logos. I was yeah. like, "What the fuck is happening?" Did nah, they fuck the that movie, up? My planet is beautiful and the sun is low. <laughs> God, there's so many lines out of this thing. Yeah, like, oh man, it's seems the right fit. I thought every yeah, I thought every no, seems the proper way. But yeah. Your suit, it's it's fitted for it for desert slip fashion, dude. I, all of these, know? all of these elements, I'm just like, I'm so <laughs> fascinated by all of them, and I want to know more uh, and why because I don't know the reasons behind everything yet. I don't know if they I put they, together everything they've given me out of the movie, but I want more. I guess you're gonna read the book, but have you watched the uh, other mm. version as well? There's uh, there's a lot. There's more lore and uh, okay. the, the suits. You the know, first how half they, an how hour. They, don't lose, they use a th- lose a thimble of water or something. Yeah, they no, recycle. they say that. They say that in this one. They like recycle. It. It's so good. The first Dude. half an hour of the four hour cut that you tell us to watch is just catch up on lore. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a yeah. monologue. I mean, yeah, you get some monologues in there from his his book film. His book film, the mm. hologram pl- display oh, yeah. stuff. His film. Oh, the sand dance. The sand dance. Oh, dude, the sand. Yeah. Oh, dude, there's so many things in this. I know. Oh. Everything's so cool. So clever. I'm very, very interested in all it's this. I'm oh, the, the, any of the spinning shield piercing projectiles. Oh. And then the ship yeah. blows up under its own shield and fact, its own shield is controlling fact, it, blowing up. To, oh. get the, to get through the shield, it has to slow down. It has to slow down like, so it slows it has down. To and, physic- oh. It has to physically go through, not it's energy. so cool. Anyway, um, <laughs> we I, I, there's I, there's one other thing that I know that I want to talk about on this episode. Is there anything else that anyone else wants to jump in with beforehand? I haven't watched anything. Yeah, else. a few things. A few things. Go for it. Do you Alex, Alex want to talk about June? <laughs> huh? You want to talk about something? Yeah, I watched I watched a Netflix movie. Oh, that came out recently. What was that, Alex? It's called Tick Tick Boom. Oh, oh that's about a theater a theater guy. Yeah, it is. Spider Man. How did you? Did you also watch Tick Tick Boom? No, I I, I uh, skimmed it. Nah, nah. <laughs> I saw it and I went. I saw the poster and I, I I maybe added it to my watch later. Ah, in my uh, mind. Uh, this is a musical on Netflix, directed by Lin Manuel Miranda, who we know from Hamilton in the Heights, all that jazz. Um, and this is a kind of it, it, they turn it into an autobiography, uh, essentially of Jonathan Larson, who was the composer and creator of the hit musical Rent. I'm not sure if we all heard Rent. They parried it. They parried it. They parried it. Parried it. Parried it. Yeah. In yeah. Team America World Police, it's uh, everyone has AIDS one. Oh, uh, okay. It's the AIDS musical. Um, so uh, he, it's about him and sadly he passed away when he was 35 and he oh. created this amazing musical, this rock musical mm. um, that he never got to see. Oh. Uh, mm. So... Uh, and this is based off his other, his like a one, he created like a one night monologue. Uh, man, it's just him on a piano, a few backup singers. Mm. Um, called Tick, Tick, Boom. Uh, yeah, Jonathan Larson actually created this. Um, and basically what he did, he just sees piano, tell antidotes about his life, t- basically tell his life story and, and um, write songs and like sing songs related to all that. He like he like talks a lot about his struggle of getting his musicals produced. Yeah. Like he's, he struggles getting his work produced so... To talk about him getting his struggles with production, he makes his own one-man show with a band and, and performs that to talk about how he's not getting his stuff. And, so, and later on, amazing. the musical was produced... After he passed away, they 
uh, the musical Tick, Tick, Boom was produced further into kind of what the movie is now. Yeah. Um, so uh, basically Andrew Garfield didn't sing before this film. Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a lot of stuff uh, about that. Have you seen that? He, so, he swings. He's, uh, <laughs> Lin-Manuel Webs. Miranda asked someone close to him, oh, can Andrew sing? And the person's like, Andrew's got the most heavenly voice you've ever known. He's, per- he's a great singer. And then she calls Andrew Garfield after the meeting. She goes, can you sing? And so Andrew Garfield learned how to sing for this film. Uh, oh, yeah. And he's he's fantastic. Yeah, that's good. Um, I've seen a couple clips from it. I'm very excited to actually sit down and watch this movie. Now yeah, I do. Want, I do want to sit down. And, watch and this. I like. You'll I've cry. seen a couple clips, and I'm like, Jesus, he can belt. Good on him. Uh, half the cast of Hamilton make cameos. Oh yeah. cameos. Is it um, Vanessa Hutchins? Um, Vanessa, uh, she's in it. Um, yeah, there's a few people you might recognize. Um, Bradley Whitford plays Stephen Sondheim, who just passed away. Yeah, um, who I believe he did get to see it before he passed away. He re-recorded his audio message in it. That's awesome. Um, and yeah, it's just, it, I really, really enjoyed it. I get four and a half. I, I thought it was awesome. Um, probably the best musical I've seen all year. Um, and yeah, I, I this one's two thumbs up from Alex. Two I'll be curious up. to see how it compares to In the Heights because that's sitting at like my number two movie for the year. Mm. So I'll be very different. I'll be interested. Yeah, I'll give it a watch. I'm very excited for that one. It should be good. Yeah. And Chris, have you been watching a TV show? Two TV shows, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> Are they very similar? They're not very similar, Brayden. Oh, too similar. Did anyone else have a question? That was... <laughs> yeah. No? Uh, Michael, uh, what have you... <laughs> <laughs> Ask me something. No. Uh, I've been watching Ted Lasso, which is very wholesome. Very nice. Alex is, was talking about it last week on yeah. the podcast. And yeah, Alex is so right. It's, it's hard to like kind of define because it's this comedy. And then you feel like it's like very uh, stereotypical, like some of these shows. And it's just, it's just not. It's so different. It's so like original. Yeah. Like... It's it's the the blend of the uh, wholesomeness to the like just straight up drama to the like comedy and like really silly comedy, yeah. It catches you so off guard. It does, yeah. Mm. And a lot of the scenes where you're like, kind of be like, oh, this isn't really a comedy anymore. I'm just like, I just like these characters. I'm just, I'm just watching a sitcom at this point, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, and you just find yourself smiling when the characters are just have fun. I just like some things good. they do with um, characters, like specifically Keely. In the film, uh, yeah. in, the film in the show. Yeah, like but, I just, Keely makes me smile a lot. Yeah. She, you, yeah. You'd expect her to like, when she comes in the first episode, you're oh, here's the dumb model girlfriend. Yep. And no, she's not like that at all. She's smart. She's like a business person and yep. she's like, she's a go-getter and she's awesome. Yeah. You get the, um, like the child comes in, you're like, oh, here's a, a three-year-old child. But no, they're like smart. They yeah. like have adult conversations. <laughs> no, I did mention to everyone earlier that the, the children in the, in Ted Lasso are probably too well written because yeah. <laughs> they, yeah, they have very adult themes and they're conversations. Not very childlike. They're not very childlike. Yeah. No. That's just England for you. That's, that's just England. They're all <laughs> yeah. just posh. They're all posh yeah. and they wear little ties. Oh, well, boy. Cause, cause that could be further from the when truth. When they're three, <laughs> they have to put them out on the streets and they have to dance for their food. Exactly. It's how it works. Yeah. Like so, Oliver Twist. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I've been contrasting that light, light-hearted, wholesome fun with uh, Murder and Death in The Sopranos. Which uh, I did mention I was watching, but I'm up to season four now. Oh, fuck your blitz and Damn. Whoa, okay. So you were only up to like what season two? I was two in season two last time. All right, so we got through about a season and a half since last week. Those um, hour long episodes. They Chris, are. are you okay? I click play. After a while, I drag Ted Ted Lasso back over. I click play on that. <laughs> That's fair swap enough. it up. <laughs> Get two TVs do it at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's gonna start looking like a betting place at that point. Just. Hot switch between them both. <laughs> as long as I look back every five seconds, I get I get the whole thing of both. Trust every me. Every time you get too sad in The Sopranos, Ted Lasso comes on. Every time you get too yeah. happy in Ted Lasso, Ted Lasso still plays. And you get yeah. too sad again. Um, but yeah, all I can say quickly about The Sopranos is like something happens in season three, which is like a like hugely like horrific, impactful like thing for one of the characters, and they it's like graphic scene and stuff, and it's like horrific. And then I was telling Alex that I was like, "Whoa, there's this like super like fucked up scene." And then, but like in how fucked up that, like what happened was, it's like the resulting plot and like play at the characters and dialogue is like up. It's all up here. Like, cool. oh my God. Like it's actual edge of your, it's they're in a therapy room, room two people talking and I am edge of my like seat. Damn. Like, just like, oh, is she going to, is she, oh. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, the writing you have to, you can only watch it and to understand Apparently it's a, like, the layers I, I, to what I'm the, the thing in question I'm talking about. Like, yeah. From, so from it, what I've seen of it, I need to keep watching it. 
So yep. from what I'm hearing is I should I should study a book I have sitting on my shelf at home about screenwriting and then watch it because I'll appreciate it more. You or watch that make- watch Sopranos first and read the book and be like they did that in Sopranos. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll do that. Also, there's a character in Sopranos that's trying to learn screenwriting. Oh so my that was god. Like- and like read screenwriting stuff. So Incredible. Very, okay. Uh, yeah. That's okay. Perfect. Just to make the episode um, longer, there was something else I did watch. Yes. Okay. And this is a bit more funny. Um, People uh, lighthearted. Yeah. Uh, the South Park post COVID special. How was this? It. Did watched you watch it. it? Yes, I did. Okay. Have you seen It Chapter Two? No. Okay. This is just it's parroting It Chapter Two a lot. I thought I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. So post COVID special. Uh, first of all, did you like it? Yeah, Cartman, man. So fucking Oh, funny. my God. How yeah. dark is it, though, too? It Does it get dark? <laughs> it, it, have you seen it? Yeah. It, it, it gets pretty bleak at sometimes. Yeah, okay. With Stan, with Stan, what happened with Stan and Randy? Oh, yeah, with their yeah. family. Yeah. yeah, but it's so funny. I can't <laughs> actually see it. At, like, when you say dark, I can't see it as legitimately yeah. dark. Um. So, basically... And, Ken, and Kenny's going to change the past anyway, so it's, yeah. it's all fine. It was going to go yeah. back. Uh, so this play, this takes place forty years after the uh, vaccination special. Sorry, what? So they, wait, so they've done a pandemic, a vaccination. They've done pandemic vaccination. Uh, so at the end of the vaccination special, the bro ship broke up. Um, yeah. They they tried working out uh, custody of Kenny. Um, who's going to take Kenny on what days? Yeah, I remember um, the saying that. But yeah, the bro ship broke up, uh, and now we've cut to forty years later. Funny, what funniest opening. To all these specials is you thinking that this is like now time where it's like mm. post COVID everyone's getting back. Yeah, it's now. like hey, we're finally through COVID. COVID. That's the joke. It's yeah. forty, 40 years, years later. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like now this COVID thing's Are over. We can finally. Like, <laughs> this is on yeah. Paramount Plus. That's so um, good. This is yeah. Fucking. Have you seen that people just are turning the pitch up on their voices and they sound like kids again? Like exact same. They've just turned the pitch down a little bit. Oh really? Yeah. Well, also yeah, because we've got um. Randy playing Stan, yeah. like the voice actor. Yeah, and that's and, fun. and Kyle's dad is playing Kyle because like, like they've grown up, obviously. Fucking r- and Stan is just just Randy. Yeah, Stan Stan's is just Randy. another Randy, like grown up. <laughs> like he's exactly <laughs> the same. God, just like, I just gonna drink wine and beer. He goes, no, it's called. I drop the wine into the beer and drink it. It's very classy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm like, I'm so taken off guard by the fact that that's what this is. It's a that uh, sounds so Car- great. Do you, do you say what Cartman? I feel where like Cartman's at? we have to say it. It's so well, Cartman's a rabbi, <laughs> and he has an entire Jewish good Jewish family. His wife's called Yentl. His um, oh my! When his wife comes in, and Kyle's like, her name is Yentl. <laughs> like like I, his Kyle doesn't believe him. I just like God. no, he's fucking with me. Yeah yeah. <laughs> um, so they basically, like how, we just want to stay in a nice Jewish home. Do you think we could stay with you, my my kids? They don't feel safe. <laughs> and then it's just like, yeah, just like because they've all moved out of South Park, pretty much. Like they've except all, Kyle. yeah, except Kyle. They've they've done it where uh, Kenny dies, of course, of course, and it brings everyone back together. And they <laughs> sure. kind of work out. Doesn't say you bastards, which yeah. is like that's so funny. Though, annoying. Tokens just looking at him like waiting Every, for him to the say. The audience it. is expecting yeah. it. Yeah. Um, Tokens an FBI agent. Fucking, uh, we didn't see butters, but we will see butters. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I, I wish I can. Can we support? Does anyone care if we? I kind of. I kind of want to watch it. it. <sighs> but Just like one more week. It's funny. South Park do good. It, this is this is the best out of three. Yeah. How long um, do each of these go for? Like, uh, this is a long. This is an hour long. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is a made for TV movie. Now nice. this right, cool, this cool. also there's a there's a strong ideology in this. It's <sighs> making fun of anti-vaxxers, of course. Yeah. Shellfish. Yeah, because basically COVID's over and yep. and. They just because of like administrative administrative stuff, they can't do anything because because Clyde's not vaccinated. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, it's just, I'm just You're waiting like just for get the re- vaccinated. Mm, nah, he's like, I'm just waiting I'm for the gonna. research, <laughs> and they'd be like, it's been forty years. Yeah, yeah. He's like, uh, yeah, I'm just not gonna get it. Like, I really I, I just don't it. need it. Okay, Scott Malkison <laughs> too. Yeah, You're fucking. Uh, it's just it's it was so like I was so happy with it. I was happy with everything. I can't wait for the the second part to come out next month. Um, I'm I'm like all in with this storyline yep. at the Just moment. Just Kyle criticizing uh, Cartman's good Jewish family oh, is so the best part. Uncle yeah. Kyle. Uncle <laughs> Kyle. <laughs> it's just so it's it's like perfect, and I want, I'll talk to Chris later separately about it, all the stuff now. Very nice, and I'm sure you guys will mention it again once you guys have watched it again. Yeah, yeah. we'll talk yeah. about yeah. We'll it next we'll time. I'll, I'll it. endeavor out to watch him. I'm just so thrown by the time jump. That's crazy. I never yeah. expect them to do that. Wow. They did it very well. And yeah, Kenny as well. <laughs> Fucking Kenny. 
Kenny becomes like a world renowned scientist who's like helping the world. He's like, and he's still got. He was famous for inventing, but he was so smart, most of the time we couldn't understand what he was saying. (laughs) (laughs) And like, they go to his fucking lab and he's still got the posters of the monster truck and the naked. Yeah, Yeah, there's just naked girls on the wall in his lab. (laughs) That's Kenny. Now, bad time for me to say it, but Braden, did you say there was something you'd watched that you wanted to talk about? Yes, indeed. That three of us at least have watched. And you know. That it's Marvel. Oh, Michael, poor Michael. I've watched it. I have it. What Michael's is it? watched it. What are you Hawkeye. talking about? Oh, Hawkeye. I haven't oh. seen it. Oh. Yep. MCU's Disney Plus Hawkeye. People were very, very much not keen on this because it's Hawkeye. Um, and the second you say, we're going to make a TV show about Hawkeye, the Avengers, people go, Ugh. why? Yeah. <laughs> He's the least interesting got, one. We got bow and arrow. <laughs> we, got um, new, we got new guns now. But now we have to clarify which Hawkeye we're talking about because we've got Clint, who's been Hawkeye in the movies this entire time, and now we've got Kate. Well, she's not Hawkeye yet. Well, no, she, but she's going to be. She's Kate. She's, she's Kate just Bishop. Kate right now. She's Kate, Kate. Bishop. She's uh, Kate. And we... I, I wasn't expecting this show to actually be like 50 minutes each episode. I was expecting it to be like half an hour. Um, this is a Christmas romp. It's a Christmas show. Um, it's Christmas themed. Get the um, we've got Jeremy Renner out here uh, cool. hanging out with his kids. And the red nose reindeer. We've got Kate Bishop out here. Um, she's very Flag good levels. at archery and martial arts and stuff. You find out why that this, this, they, they do a time jump back to the original, the original Avengers movie, and then the entire time you're in this sequence in her house, you're just like, I know what happens in New York in 2012. I'm waiting for something to happen. Yeah. And they hold on that tension quite well because you're you're sitting there knowing that shit's about to pop off. Yeah. And they're just having this conversation and like their own life going on. And you're just sitting there like, something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. Something's going to happen. And then, of course, something happens. Um, they take a while to do that, though. Um, I like Hayley Steinfeld as Kate Bishop. I think she's doing an excellent job of it. Um, she's quite fun. Very easy breezy. Lucky. The pizza dog is fantastic. He's been on screen for an hour, and if anything were to happen to him, I would kill everyone in this room and then myself. The dog is quite cute. He's great. He's so good. What sort of a dog is it? He's a golden retriever, oh. and he's got one eye. Yep. I'm a mixed bag on this one. Yeah. I, I feel like I'm slowly turning to the Chris side. <laughs> You're where, just over Marvel. Where it's just like, I'm over, I'm over old Marvel. I'm, I, yeah. I want to see more Shang-Chi, more new stuff in Marvel. Yeah. I'll see some more multiverse. Mm. Yeah, I, I want to see that. Yeah. I, I'm over. I like, uh, look, Jeremy Renner's is great as Hawkeye and he, him and Hayley Steinfeld's chemistry in the in the show is undeniably incredible. But I, I kind of don't care. Yeah. About, I, I more care more about Hayley Steinfeld. Like, like, I've been watching Jeremy Renner for so long that I'm just like, oh, it's Hawkman. I think it's Hawkeye. I, I am. Katniss. I've I, quite enjoyed these first two episodes, but I'm definitely, yeah, I'm very invested. And I really... I hope they keep his approach to everyone like because everyone everyone knows him as Hawkeye and he's kind of just like he's also over it. Yeah. He's just like he's yes. very over it. He's just like yes, that that that's me. That's me. Cool. And then he's Heart like reflecting life. <laughs> Call me Clint. He's just like yeah, I'm yeah. in other things. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on. Like, I was yeah. in Wind River. But like he, he tells someone to like just call him Never Clint heard. and like they think it's like the. Obviously, the biggest thing. Like, but I think he just doesn't so want to be associated cool. with he Hawkeye. Want, as much he doesn't anymore. want to be Hawkeye anymore. Like he's, he's so over it. But he's exhausted. I'm, his kids are growing up, and he's losing his time with them. And they don't find it cool anymore. Yeah. And also, his body. Did they is ever find it cool? Up. They might have. I don't know. His body is really fucked up. Like he's he, deaf. He's, he's gone deaf. <laughs> yeah. And like I love oh, adapting actual? that. Yeah. yeah. It's great. It's really good. In one ear. Yeah. In one ear. Right. But like it. Well, no, he is deaf, but he's only got a hearing aid in one ear. Can't afford. So for the other one, yeah, it's a. Then just don't pay well. It's really mm-hmm. interesting. I really like what they're exploring in it. Uh, it's a great adaptation of the best and honestly only Hawkeye series that anyone should ever read from the Hawkeye comics, um, which is a tw- uh, mid two mid twenty tens series by Matt Fraction and David Adger. Um, David Adger's art style is what's like come through in the posters and the opening credits and closing credits and stuff. Um, all the really nice graphic design that they've done there. His art's amazing, um, and he hasn't been credited in the credits, so he should be. Um, but Matt Fraction has wrote excellent stuff. The comedy of the uh, the mafia gang of the tracksuits, where it's just th- this Russian mafia who all wear tracksuits, and they're called the tracksuits. It's very lame, very comic booky, very fun. Um, and yeah, I, I like what they're setting up. They've got characters come in, which might be interesting. We'll see. But I think this is one of the last things that we're getting, which is old Marvel. I think. 
Like, yeah. I, I can't think of any of the new TV series or anything Thor. that... Oh, and we're getting... Yeah, Thor. But Thor's even bringing in the new Thor. So, like, we're really doing... The, we're in this period of time where the things that have the original Avengers in them yeah, are now I'm just handing thinking over. Marvel's yeah. even more fucking lazy with this because, like... Because, like, as soon as you said that, when, like, yeah, Thor's bringing the new Thor. Yeah, Black Widow brought in the new Black Widow. This Hawkeye's bringing the new Hawkeye. It's what they're doing now. Yeah. Just bring them in. They don't yeah. need, I don't need fucking Scarlett Johansson to hold Florence Pugh's hand through yeah, to the next definitely. thing. I don't need mm. Jeremy Renner holding Haley Steinfeld's hand. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's basically them just being like, yes, I give you the title. Now I'm going to piss off and grow old. Like... Yeah. Or die. die. <laughs> yeah, or die. <laughs> yeah. That's it. But um, yeah, I, I'm, I mean, I, I'm I enjoyed the first see, two episodes. Honestly, I'm I, I'd be next. down if fucking with this new phase after they just went. Endgame happened. It was the biggest thing in the world. All the fucking main Avengers have retired. And then these people have no links to them. They're just inspired by them. And they can, mm. they want to do what they yeah. do. Honestly, that's, that's what we're getting with Ms. Marvel. That's what Ms. Marvel is. Yeah. She's just inspired by the Avengers and she loves superheroes and she writes fan fiction and shit. And I mean, that's how Haley Steinfeld's Captain Marvel's character like favorite. starts off. True. But then obviously now she's teamed Hanging up out with, with him. Yeah. I actually just met him by the strangest convenience thing ever that he was in New York with his family watching the yeah. Rogers musical, which by is also worth mentioning. Rogers the musical is fantastic. They've released like the full songs from the musical. There's like three, I think. Uh. And it is legitimately like... It doesn't deserve to be as good a musical as it is because it's just stupid, <laughs> but it's funny. It's great. Um, so I'm very interested to see what they do with characters that show up at the end of episode two um, and we'll see what happens next because it comes out the night after we record these episodes. So we're always a little bit behind. But yeah. I think that's everything. Marvel chat. Also, Spider-Man's apparently going to be Spider-Man a bit longer. I think that wraps up the episode. How long this one go for? 56. We're still under an hour. Under an hour. We love it. Oh, we're under an hour. Yep. Yeah. How good do you See? feel? Feels like Alex forever. is Alex looks so happy. I agree with that. I felt like I thought we were at 120 or something. You know what that is? Trailer game time, guys. Here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> That's value for money right there. And we know you don't pay for it, but you can pay for it if you feel so inclined at patreon.com slash movie talk. Support the show. We're under an hour. Mm-hmm. You can under listen an to hour. our uh, pre-show thoughts Believe on Dances it. with Wolves. Dances with Wolves. Michael, That's you so need to wear glasses, though. Is that true? Huh? Right. I can see it. Tatanka. Yeah. Tatanka. <laughs> with that, Tatanka. And with that. <laughs> Thank you yeah. for listening to episode 134 of Millennial Movie Talk, MT Movie Podcast. Uh, you can follow us on uh, your socials of choice if we're on there. Um, you can follow us on your podcast of choice, depending on whatever the hell you're listening to us on. Um, if it has the ability to leave a review, leave a review. That'd be nice. Uh, share it with your friends and shit. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, all that stuff. Um, yeah. And with saying that, I'm Brayden. I'm Steph. I'm Alex. Tatanka. And I'm Michael. And we're out of here. (laughs)